Good day, open hearts, and thank you for being here at the Shell Energy. Thank you so much for all your support. Um, I have been uh, making more and more of um, the remedies that I have um, I've been showing you. So since last week, it, it picked up. So that's why I took some time to get back to the channel. But I'm uh, I'm here. Uh, also since last week, I've been wanting to come in about uh, November frequencies. But I wasn't very clear about what I was seeing. And just now I was in the shower. My hair is still wet. Um, and it was just coming in. Every day is coming in. The same um, vision comes in. And I know I have to share it. So now in the shower got very loud. You know, because uh, the water... And I know you get like wonderful ideas in the, when you're in the shower. When we're in the shower, we also receive uh, a lot of messages because the water is such a beautiful carrier of frequencies. And um, so today it was just very loud. So it's, okay, okay, before I even dry my hair, I'm coming in. Um, so this is what I saw when I asked for guidance for November. And um, again, you know, spirit talks in ways they... I understand. So what I saw was the game board of shoots and ladders. And with my kids, you know, they when you play the game boards and you take, you know, the, you, the in the board, you take the steps like that. And sometimes you have to take a ladder. Sometimes you don't go shoot. And, and I'm looking at that game and I said, well, that's for November. And in addition to that, then um, I said, can you show me more? Give me a Give me a progression show me more and then i saw a a hole you know like a very much like the matrix than the movie when there is all white white walls white doors so it was all long white hole and it had doors on the side and as i saw that i understood that um based on our inner guidance because Right now we are on C, Terzena, which is the one that is going, is highlighting very, very deeply your inner authority. No one has authority on you, but yourself. Okay. Nobody is here to save you, to guide you, to show you. It is, you have to run everything through your own guidance systems. And this is the Terzena that is going to highlight this. This is the Tsi Terzena, the dog, the wolf. Um, so being in this Terzena and they showing me this white hole, I understand and I see it this way that it is your inner authority that is going to dictate you walking through this hole that has absolutely no colors, there are no signs, no flashlights, nothing. It's all pure neutrality, white, nothing on it. And it's going to be you by feeling which door you're going to open and which door you're going, you, which adventure you're going to take for November. And that's when I saw that the door, some doors open. And that's when I saw um, some hat shoots and some hat ladders. Um, and I said, oh, so... It's like the door, the, it was, uh, the, the, the board game was here. Then there was an overlay on top of this white hole that had all the doors. And when I say hole is H A L L. So I don't, I know I have a thick accent. So, um, so according to how you are reading your, the information coming to you and how you interpreting this information and how you navigating from the inside out, you're going to select the doors of the experience that you want to uh, create what you want to experience in November. Okay. There are going, there's going to be some, and I'm not a fan of because in, I have a lot of friends and family can tell you that I have never been a fan of big um, roller coasters or those uh, carnival big uh, rides that you go and some people are so incredible that they go with their hands up and everything I just freak out so <laughs> there were some of these doors that had some really amazing um, experiences like that that um, they are very very saturated 
with um, experiences of um, polarization and very deep separation kind of experiences. So according to our inner guidance, we can choose to go through that path. And there are other doors that had more like little toboggans, you know, going up and down like that, and still a ride. Um, so these were the offerings of November. So November to me came in with the many offerings from moving through an experience that have uh, uh, extreme saturation of um, um, duality and, uh, you know, um, separation and all that to a more neutral state of beingness. Um, however, there was another level on top of this white hole that I was shown. And this was um, a matrix, like um, a crystalline matrix that was on top. And this one show when you come up on that level, you were able to see everything. You were, you were able to actually see the hole with all the doors. And then you saw the, at the bottom, you could see all the um, shoots and ladders, all the uh, roller coasters, all the uh, toboggans that ended up in a huge pool and splash. And it was just like a big um, amusement park. Okay, but some of them, if you wanted to experience more fear, you know, like freak out kind of those incredible, crazy um, uh, games in like Six Flags that you can go upside down and stay there for a while and then like I'm dead. I don't like that. Um, but it was like that. But the, at the highest level, you could see all the ones on the bottom. And the highest level... The second level of the hole, the hole with the white doors, was a level of neutrality. And the, the level, the higher level was the level where you really just drop everything. Just drop the judgment of all the doors. Because at the second level, I could see myself going through, trying to stay in neutrality, trying to make an effort to stay in, a, in this non-judgment place. But I, when I saw the doors, they did steer a little bit of you know some of them steer fear some of them might steer a little bit anger so there was still um poking some emotional response and and they were uh provoking um emotional charges as soon as you open the door and move through and i understood that that is actually the, the experience that we're selecting we are choosing to go through that door <laughs> And uh, some were choosing to go through a different door that had maybe less experience of anger, but there was still some judgment. But at the higher level on that white hole was one when we were more conscious and we were being more mindful of staying in neutrality. And the third level was the one that I actually could see. And this was the that crystalline matrix that I could see the whole uh, feel, you know, the whole, um, I don't want to call it like, um, it's like, I, it was like six flags, like a amusement park. Uh, you could see the whole amusement park. Okay. And the many different choices that people make to go through these experiences. Um, so that's what I saw for November. And I'm, keep seeing it since last week so i'm thinking now that i'm here i'm sharing it it will stop <laughs> because it was very strong just now when i was in the shower i just kept seeing and that's when i saw the third level and the third level is when you are fully and completely in your heart center allowing everybody to have their own experience without passing any judgment on them. And I know this is difficult because if you are in a family unit like me, you know, we're, we, uh, we have, um, and we're all adults in my house, uh, young adults. So we all have our own opinions of our own experiences. And so it's best to navigate this as allowing everybody to have their own experience without passing judgment. Um, I found that if, Anybody approaches me and asks me my opinion, then I'd be very happy to share it. 
but I'm not telling anybody what to believe and what not to believe and uh, what to say, what not to say, what to read, what not to read, because again, we are in the tercena of Tsi, which is inner authority. So respecting that, um, respect, I, I, am, I am trying to respect everybody's path, beginning from my family unit, and expanding it out to my neighbors, to my workspace, through my community, and just creating the ripples like that um, without passing judgment and not trying to tell people what to think and what to say and what to do. Everybody needs to run whatever comes our way to our own inner guidance and dis discern what is it that I'm going to do with this information? Because at the end, everything is information. Today is a very charged day. It's, uh, like you know, it's election day here you know, uh, in the US. And it's, it's a charged day just because there's so much, um, there's so much, so many intentions placed on this day. Um, and, it's, it, and there's so much um, intention, so much attention on this day. So it's charged because of that. It is also a five-ish, which is Mother Gaia Sophia Day. And with the five energy is very fast. It can change, it can alchemize things very quickly. So using that energy, you you know, try to hold the space of sacred neutrality. Because what I understood with this vision is when you are in that third level, you have a much better view of what is happening and you know how things are unfolding that when you are on a lower level trying to figure out which door to take and if you're in a much lower level and the first level you know where you have all the shoots and ladders um you are just trying to kind of survive and in that victim state and you know the world's here to get me and i have to defend myself and so it's just according to whatever experience you want to have so I am um, in this day choosing to hold the container of neutrality in the heart. And what I do is when it's difficult, I imagine myself, you know, take breath, conscious breathing. And I imagine myself very small, like a tiny little person. And I come into my heart center like a tiny little person, you know, like the books that we read with my kids, the borrowers was a tiny little person. And it comes right here in my heart center. And I sit here in lotus position in my heart center, in my human, in this garden, in this, you know, beautiful collection, this ecosystem that I created to come in and express myself. So I sit in my heart center and I rest there for a while until I feel it's appropriate to expand. So when I feel that it's appropriate to expand, I begin expanding my heart center and growing myself. Okay, remember I'm little. So I start growing myself and growing myself and growing my heart center to the point where, you know, uh, there's no limits to it. There's just no limits to it. And I hold that space for as long as possible. Uh, and then, you know, if I drop it, then I find another time on the day and I do it again and I do it again and I do it again. Uh, so that helps me a lot when there are days like today, very charged days. And when family members and co-workers and neighbors and friends, everybody has an opinion about what's going on in the world and what's going to come down and uh, tomorrow or by Saturday or by Sunday and riotings and now we're going to be all beautiful organic. Everybody has an opinion. So I'm just holding the space. I was um, uh, talking with a dear friend of mine yesterday too and this is something that helps me a lot. And that is, you know, when I do my practice in the morning, after doing some conscious breathing, I ask and intend to be shown my connection to everything that is sacred, which is everything, because everything is sacred. And 
without a doubt, I always see it. It's right here. And the mother comes and receives me. Mother Gaia Sophia always, always comes and receives me. It's so beautiful. <laughs> so she always comes and receives me. She holds me. Uh, and I can see the pillar of light already in my head. And I can see here the rays. And there are two beautiful white angels. Uh, amber white, like orangey white colors here. Which I call the sun angels on my side. And they are the ones that always come and show me my connection to the everything, to the everyone, to every sentient being in the planet and outside of this planet. All the way out through the galaxy, through central sun, through source, all the way out through everything until I find myself as a sun. I find myself as a glorious sun with the rays all around me, all at the bottom, on the sides and on top. So I don't see the main column of light here anymore because there are many. Even the angels have dissolved into light. So I'm just seeing it now, it's very, very powerful. And they want me to share that with you. So you can sit every day and ask. I don't ask to be connected because I know I am. So I ask to show me because sometimes I just need to see it. So I ask, please show me my connection. I sometimes ask, please show me my connection with Divine Mother Gaia. And she comes immediately. Please show me my connection with the brotherhoods and the sisterhoods of the galaxies. And I feel them. I ask, what are the Divine Mothers? And it, like that, there they are. <sighs> Just open your feel. And I know this is difficult because we have been uh, taught that we had to protect and then we need to seal our feel, all this protection and sealing stuff, which is uh, a way of separating ourselves with, from the everything. And I'm seeing back again everything. I'm connected with everything. Nea Okay, we'll continue to hold the space of sacred neutrality. I don't know, this was just very intense. The mother, mother was uh, very much holding us, very much in, in her arms, in her love, in her heart, in her belly. So that was intense, beautiful, thank you. Um, we'll continue to hold the space of neutrality because the more filters we put in front of us, uh, anger or judgment, or uh, this is good, this is bad, you know, oh, that's stupid, or oh, that's racist, this is, then the more filters are in front and less, um, less we are in the, in the neutral space where we are able to see everything, if it's possible. Um, again, allow everybody to have their experience as they choose and if you want to do something to make things better again just be an example of the frequency that you feel that is needed at the moment 
or hold the space that container as wide as big as you can for um the neutrality so that all can come in empty yourself you empty yourself so that all can come in all the information can come in and you can see the bigger picture okay so with that i leave you this is my video for november i thank you again so much for your support these are going uh in the mail today thank you very much for um allowing me to to help you in these times i do i do it with all of my heart thank you so much for coming with your open mind your open heart remember we are the angels divine blessings namaste